it was political, you know, it was protest art. Like we were creating something that was a critique on the world that we live in and was gonna create a dialogue. And that was very relatable to the black experience and also could show the black experience in a very diverse way between these two people and all the characters they meet along the road. Queen and Slim are two very different kinds of black people, right? They probably wouldn't have seen each other again had they not been um, forced together by the shared experience. And I think that that comes across, you know, in the first scene. It's like, they won't have another date. Like, Queen is obviously, like, uses her education to get out of the hood and to, to move up in the world. And Slim is happy where he is, and he's happy with family. And, and his value is, is his, his sense of family and friends and home. And she doesn't have one, you know? And they really represent a Malcolm and a Martin in two different approaches um, to life. No one else could inhabit this very strong, powerful woman in the way that Jody Turner Smith could, you know? And then also to have somebody that could stand up against uh, Daniel Kaluuya, who, you know, is our Paul Robeson or is our Denzel Washington. Like, he is really an extraordinary actor. And, you know, it's asking a lot of a, a, a new actress. And she stepped into those shoes and, you know, stood high and tall and supported him and empowered him and his performances, and he did the same, you know, and she became our queen. For Sturgill, I think it was important, you know, that he showcased that institution and did it in a very real place. Like, his father, uh, I think, was a sheriff, and he grew up, I remember he said he grew up around a lot of officers like that, and he really wanted to bring light to the injustice within uh, law enforcement. Lena was really, like, my salvation on the set. She was, like, an immense support system, firstly. Um, she really trusts me, and I trust her, so she allowed me creative space to do what I do, um, and I gave her the same space. Uh, I believe we challenge each other when we don't understand the choices made, um, and I think it elevates the, the narrative the entire way, you know? So she's... Uh, artist support and, and emotional support, and she's really my sister. And I knew when we were shooting this that we had to go to Cleveland and we had to honor Tamir Rice and what he had gone through as we were honoring all these other black men and women who had, you know, suffered and given their lives because of police brutality. I really feel like, you know, it's a testament to black artists and and their voices and empowering them. And it's, it's really lovely to see that translate.